Hi, everybody. My name is Karen Jones, and I welcome you to my first blog on point of you, point of me. Play on words, of course. As I sit here outside in my yard in the beginning of March, and I see all of the abundance around me, the flowers and the green, as spring begins early, I am in awe of how the universe just keeps on giving. You know, we have these I ideas that we, where we limit ourselves and what the universe has to offer us. We think that, oh, there's only so much, and we walk around with that point of view day to day. I've been working really hard on, on changing some points of view I have about, about money and about abundance and about prosperity. And I know a lot of people are working on this. Today it's my turn to begin one of these thoughts of mine. Every day I take a walk and when I take that walk, I imagine like there's money everywhere, like everything is money. And if you think about it, everything is money to a certain degree in our reality, right? If you think about it, um, about money being everywhere. I kind of like get like, you know, like the matrix when they have all of the, the, the numbers moving and how he turns and he looks at everything and everything turns into this like digital space. Well, I kind of do the same thing with money and I try to imagine that I'm like walking through money and that there's money falling from the sky and that there's money in the bushes and on the trees and on the birds. The birds are money as they fly by. And, and it kind of gives me a sense of that there's, it's never ending. It's just like, you know, we have this idea that you spend money and then you have no more money because you've spent your money. Instead of realizing that there's, a consi there's always a consistent flow. It depends on how you think about money and how, you, and how you perceive it and how much you're willing to receive. A lot of people have ideas about money being dirty or wrong or um, if you have a lot of money, you're, you'll end up being a bad or you'll be greedy. And that's a judgment, number one. And all of your judgments, they can, can limit you or they can set you free, depending on what they are and if you're aware of what they are. So next time you take a walk around, try imagining that, that money is everything and that it's everywhere for you and that it's, it's at your fingertips, always. Are you inviting money in or are you, are you, are you uninviting it? Are you willing to receive more of it? Or do you think that you can only get it in one direction? I look at nature. I mean, I take a look around me. Oh. And my camera falls. I look around me and the wind blows and my camera falls. And there you have it. More of how the winds of change can change everything. So I look around me and I've got these lovely buds and not too long ago was completely naked. All the leaves had fallen and it seemed that it had disappeared into thin air or maybe just become the dust and dirt. But now it's green and it's flowing again. There's a constant flow. God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, whatever works for you, is constantly giving us more. And we have a tendency to think that that's it. Oh no, this is it. And we constantly put a cap on, on the, the flow of creation and, and the, the flow of prosperity and abundance. I'm so happy that I can even just share these thoughts with you because I've never really talked about this kind of stuff with people and, and my own process with creating more. My, in my family, it was about education and working hard and that's actually you know pretty common but when I look at my at the life of my father for example he worked so hard and it was all about working hard and making a lot of money but then he was never really happy he was always about wanting more and never really having enough or maybe he just never took the time to really smell the roses all the time but he worked so hard and he worked so many hours and to the to the detriment of his family at a lot of the times. And then when he had to retire, he got sick and died. So I think there's got to be more to this whole prosperity thing. I don't think a tree, you know, grows and says, oh, well, the winter's coming. I'm going to die now. 
the tree is like, okay, I'm following the flow of the universe. I'm going to um, put my energies in a different way so that when the spring comes, my, my energy will flow in an, in, and be more prosperous and, and greater. I, I don't know. I just think that, that living is not necessarily about working hard to the point of not being happy if you don't. I think that you should do something that you love to do, and or maybe you should do many things that you love to do. Limiting yourself, I think, is maybe not the most, some not the best choice. But it's up to you. You know, it's your choice. What would you like your life to look like? I've been asking that question a lot, and I definitely have been asking for more of a flow of money and inviting money into my world every day. But it's a conscientious thought because when we're so not used to allowing ourselves to change lanes. We think that this is the only lane and this is the only way. And instead of saying, oh, I keep hitting a wall here, why do I keep hitting a wall? What can I do to change that? What can I do to tear down this wall? So I have a lot of things that I do to uh, stop that mental process because I think that your point of view creates your reality. Your reality doesn't create your point of view. Your point of view creates your reality. And I really believe that to be true because I see it. I mean, just look around you. Look around your world and you'll see what choices that you've been making that are creating your reality. Choice creates reality. Reality doesn't create choice. So a lot of times you just have to choose and then find out if it works for you, even though we do our best in our damn just to try and figure it all out. You can't always figure it out. Sometimes you just have to choose it. And if it feels good and light, you go towards it and hopefully that lightness is, is what will work for you for now. But uh, if, you, if you also consider that only all choices are only worth 10 seconds, then you can always make another choice because you'll find out if it's not working. You're not stuck in, in a choice or a decision. So as you look around you and you look at the prosperity of this initial blooms of spring, I invite you to imagine that everything is money and that money is everywhere and that if you would invite it in, if you're willing to receive it, if you will uh, create the reception. You know, you have, when, you get, when you have a, a party of any kind or, or, or a wedding or anything, they have the reception. So it's like we receive our friends into the universe. Why don't you try the same thing with money? Tell me what happens with you. I'll keep you informed about what's been going on with me. And the beginning of that is, is starting this vlog, starting this video series. And uh, I hope to meet you soon. And uh, maybe we can chat some more about this. In the meantime, have a wonderful, prosperous, glorious, magical day on this beautiful planet. And make sure you know that you're connected to it all. Ciao.